Um, it just seems really disorganized. Or disorganized. Temporarily closed. Gwark. Hello? Hello, hello? Welcome to the grand reopening of the Foresight Department Store, a magical place where the hopes and dreams of shoppers come alive. Uh, I do have a message for you. It concerns improving our experience as you take your first steps into our establishment. <laughs> Run. Now that the Foresight Department Store is open, I mean, it would be a crying shame if I didn't go in there and spend a lot of money. I'm a 13-year-old boy with how much? Let's check. Let's let's check real quick. ATM. I'm going to withdraw it all, so I need to check this anyway. $24,000. It would be a crime for me not to spend like all of it. So, let's withdraw all of it and uh, get this show going because man, I have 20 I have $27,000 in my wallet right now. That's epic. What do you have to say? Why are you a mouse in the middle of the department store? Somehow, I feel like the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to scare off customers so that you can get this place for your own again. Because if you remember, it was closed, and we don't know why it was closed, so we can only assume it was because of a previous mouse problem. Now, if we go in here, this place I want to go in first, there will be a contraband dealer right there, the camo guy, and I need to do a lot of things. A lot of things with this, this inventory. Uh, these, This is a very outdated inventory, and I need to get rid of it. First thing is to give this to Paula. All the junk will be given to Paula. Secondly is to have Paula give her platinum band give to Jeff. Have Jeff equip it. I know, this seems really strange, but it will all make sense this episode. Platinum band, rate- Whoa! Wow, that's a big up uh, increase. Yeah! Oh, wait. Oh, he has no weapon, that's why, okay. Uh, let's see, what else can I do before I, I cut out some of the selling? Uh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, okay. So, off screen, I will do a lot of things with my inventory, then I will cut back and show you what I did. You guys should be very thankful that I cut all of that out. Ugh. I don't like the menus in Earthbound, or at least the the shop menus, and so it would have been painful to watch for people who play Earthbound a lot. So, Jeff, I sold his, or I gave his item to his uh, weapon to Paula because he had the hyper beam. That guy was selling a hyper beam, which is a better weapon for Jeff, so his offense is now at 89. Now, I also have six, or sorry, seven, no, sorry, eight big bottle rockets. Let's move those to the top of my inventory. I have eight big bottle rockets, so all of my uh, normal bottle rockets are gone. I sold them. And let's see, what else? This item that Jeff has, the broken pipe, he will upgrade it once he has one more IQ. So that will be neat for him to have on hand. So this is a great inventory for Jeff. Like, this is amazing. Uh, as for Ness, nothing much has changed. He now has three ketchup packets instead of five or six. And my reasoning behind this is, I mean, think about it. Magic Truffle restores 80 PP, right? About. So 80 times three is 240. And when am go I going to be going 240 PP between shops? Hardly ever. So I feel like this is pretty nice. I don't need six or seven of the of the ketchup packets. So that's that's good. Paula, not much has changed. You don't want to equip her that much in this area, and I it will become apparent later on. What do you say? Everything's so expensive. Should I return to my homework? Sorry, hometown. <laughs> I actually said homework. Uh. That's, that's funny. You should definitely return to your homework. Mumble, mumble. Man, I'm so busy. Don't bother me, kid. Sorry. This guy cold carries cold remedies and, like, calorie sticks, so you don't want to bother with him. There's nothing back... Wait, what's, what's in here? I don't remember this area. A bunch of boxes? What? There's nothing in here. That's weird. Do, do I get something for checking the boxes? That's really odd. That's extremely odd. Okay. No idea what, what's up with that place. But 
The other woman here carries some useful things. Hi! Can I help you? Yes, you certainly can. She has the chef's fry pan, which I will give to Paula. I mean, I'm rich, so I might as well equip her with some stuff. Yeah, you can take that back. Let's see. Um, gold. We have silver bracelets and gold bracelets. Uh, let's get the gold bracelets for these people. Increase my defense. The gold bracelet is one step below the platinum bracelet and one step above the silver, so it's a nice in-between, but it, we can't get platinum bracelets right now, so you might as well get them. And is that it, though? Yes. <laughs> no, I'll totally get a toothbrush and a protractor. Yeah, that's it. And now let's go up to the fourth floor. Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, if you think about it, if they were renovating this place, think of how long it ha would have taken. I wonder why it closed. I want to save up some money and go to Summers or somewhere else to relax. Oh, so you're skipping school too, right? No, actually, I finished my senior year of high school today, which is awesome. Hey dudes, Summer, it's the manly time of the year. Time for sports, guys. What can I do you for? Wow, nothing. <laughs> this guy is trash, sorry but I will not do anything with your store. I will not associate myself with your business. If you ever need anything, come back here and I'll set you up. And finally, there's a place called Toys. Hello there. How may I help you? Uh, bye. Trick yo-yo that's better than the, than the weapons we have, but unfortunately, the accuracy stinks on these weapons, so I won't be getting them. Co uh, coins of Defense. Ness and Jeff would be a fan of those. Yeah, I'll equip it here. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm making some money off of these purchases, so the coin of defense really isn't $2,000, it's $1,250 because I'm selling, oh man, I'm selling an item in return, I need to give this, give Ness, and now let's buy his coin, and then give, him, give back his bottle rocket. That's another thing I would have changed if I was in charge of the menus. I would totally fix that. So like, if you were buying a weapon to replace one you already had, you shouldn't need an extra inventory slot for that to happen. That's kind of bogus. So can we examine any of these and like get them? No. What about the robot? That would have been really cool if we could do that and then get like a super teddy bear that would do counter attack damage. That would have been cool. But unfortunately it's not to be. So let's get a couple of teddy bears, two of them I think will suffice. No, 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 not, not trick yo-yo. Yes, you can get me something else, not a trick yo-yo, a teddy bear for Ness. One more, and then I want to give one of Paula's cups of life, actually no, let's do, let's do one of her secret herbs to Ness. Okay, it'll all make sense. When I grew up, I wanted to work for APE as a pro, what's APE? Is that like... Oh! <laughs> it's eight. Wow. Wow, Paladin. It's here you were saying, I just graduated, I just finished my senior year of high school. I'm going to be doing college next year. And then you mistake ape for APE. Wow. Do you have any connections with those guys? Well, I'm kind of let's playing one of their games, so yes. Oh, you didn't have to answer. It was dumb of me to ask you that question. Okay. Can I play this? No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to play this thing. Play. No, I can't play it. Okay. Whatever. And there's nothing in here. Although, this is a very ornate room. I don't remember seeing that rug anywhere else before, and I have to say, whoever decorated this room, you did a good job. Okay, now that's that's pretty much it. Let's deposit some cash into our bank account, since I have nothing else to purchase. So let's deposit our remaining... Oops. I always do that. Menus, deposit, and deposit. Wow, we we spent like ten thousand dollars. One, six. Oh wait, one, six. <laughs> it's like a puzzle game except with money. And four, four, four. I think it's okay if we hold on to four hundred dollars. If we die, we're only losing 200 of that, 200 out of 16,000, so I feel like it's fine if we keep a an emergency 
cash flow on hand, just so all of our money isn't tied up in one place. I mean, if I need to buy a bus ticket or something, I don't want to have to go withdraw money to do it. I want to just buy the stinking bus ticket. Okay, let's let's leave this place. I've gotten all the things I need to get, and the party's looking rather good. Uh, but before before we leave, let's move this, give to myself, to the top of my inventory. Because if you remember, the magic travel has to be on the top of your inventory to work. Otherwise, it will just consume and be gone forever. Well, let's leave. Your attention, please. Will the customer from Arnett, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor? That was Customer Ness, fourth floor office. Wow, I guess we know why the store closed down to begin with. It has a monster problem, and apparently a kidnapping problem as well. Oh boy. Oh boy, the enemies here are extremely difficult. They all know psychic moves or some form of AoE type move, and they will cause a lot of problems. What you want to do is kill them as soon as, po as soon as possible, and that requires bottle rockets. I suggest using bottle rockets first to kill these things off while you still can. I probably should have used that bottle rocket on the other one because it knows, it knows thunder beta, and that's not good. In fact, he's going to use it now. A lot of damage to Jeff, but and he's going to die if he doesn't get lifed up. And Jeff, shoot it. Life up beta saves Jeff just in the nick of time. That would have killed him. Although, this is going to kill him. Oh snap, oh snap. No, 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 no. Uh, no. No. Defend! No! He died. He died. And he's being shocked while he stands. I wasn't fast enough. Well, that's why... That's why I brought that, uh, that thing. Oh, man. Really? 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 Okay. Please die while you're still dead. Ah. Uh, well, at least uh, Ness is immune to electric or thunder attacks. And my teddy bear's being killed. Reflected the lightning, so he can't actually hurt Ness. I should've killed him first. Wow. A lot of experience. Yeah, so these enemies are hard. Let's use let's use that secret herb on Jeff. And he's revived. With like no health. Okay. This is not good, but at least I get a second chance here. If he was dead permanently, or not permanently, but until I got to a hospital, that would have been bad. Let's just make sure that he doesn't die again, and if he does, use our life up quickly. Ness, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula. Guarg. Huh. This seems very familiar. I mean, a grand reopening of an establishment that closed under mysterious circumstances, and I'm supposed to believe that there's no coincidence here. Come on. Let's use that. Let's use that big bottle rocket here. This seems a lot like a let's play that I have done before. And wow, they fell asleep. Electrical shock attack, please hit my Franklin badge, and you did. Damaging yourself, and you missed. Jeff woke up. Electrical shock attack, please don't hit Jeff. Please don't hit Jeff. Hit. Yeah! This guy's being dumb, and he. Wow! He killed himself! He did not lay a finger on me. That was awesome! Oh, there's a present! Oh boy, that was close. Okay, can I please lure these guys here? Yeah, move over here. Come on. Over here. No! Snap. Jeff's uh, Ness's level is now 35. Offense 1 by 2, defense 1 by 1, HP 1 by 2. Okay. Let's let's not make the same mistake and run. Oh boy, I'm being stopped by the loudspeaker. Ness, customer Ness. Guard. Guard. You should I wish there's a face cam right now because of the expressions I'm making while I make those noises. Okay, I'm magic truffles on top. I still have my teddy bear, bottle rockets, I'm looking good. Okay, now for HP, max, and max, okay. Oh boy, let's fight him. Gwar, gwar, you finally made it. This department store is gonna be your grave, gwar. You will be gone and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. Nice guy. He compliments us while he's trying to kill us. 
This department store spook knows a lot of psychic attacks, including Freeze Alpha, which will insta-kill Jeff. So what we need to do is take it out in the first turn, or very close to it. So Rock and Beta, and a Big Bottle Rocket will be our best friend right now. Big Bottle Rocket comes out, does 330 damage. PSI Rock and Beta comes out as well, does... 105 damage, does not kill it. Freeze Alpha connects. Did not work on the teddy bear. Oh, that was his only available chance to kill us. And now Bash Tax should finish this guy off. It didn't. I was stupid. I regret nothing, though, because he just used life up. Uh, yeah, let's let's use Rock and Beta, because PP is more easily replenished than Big Bottle Rockets. And Jeff, why don't you... This is probably a good idea. You use HP Sucker, because if he goes first and kills Jeff, Jeff will use HP Sucker on his turn and heal himself and bring him back into the green. Good idea. Very good idea. So it's an insurance policy. But it wasn't really needed because he was dead anyway. Not a hard enemy, but if you don't know how to fight it, it can spell your doom. Jeff's level is now 31. Speed went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. HP went up by 3. That's good, because now that his PP is up, he can he can uh, fix that item. Even though you could beat me, Master Gygus will avenge me. At this moment, Paula should be... Monotoli... Guarg. That's the end of the department store spook. And it's the end of the blackout. Everyone's back to do their normal business, and... Camera guy is paying me a visit. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I do to say so myself, okay, you're ready for this memory. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the photos of memories. Going once, going twice, sold. The camera guy is actually an auctioneer on Tuesdays. Only Tuesdays. He can't bring himself to auction off the souls of children on any other day but Tuesdays. That's what he does, by the way. That's his, uh... It's not his night job, because he does it on Tuesdays. It's his Tuesday, 6 p.m. only job. Yeah, he, it's a very special title. Uh, I could probably have bought some more teddy bears, but I want more of these. How would you like some seasonings that would go great on food at mealtimes? These are not your, your average seasonings, huh? Either you try to eat something, seasonings will be on their food, and it's like magic. Let's get some of these. Once again, if I could fit, if I could fix the uh, the menu system, I would say, um, "Oh, you want to buy a ketchup packet? How many of those would you like to purchase?" And I'm like, "Oh, I would like to purchase four of them." And then she's instantly just like, "Okay, here you go." But no, it has to be complicated. But remember, this game was made <laughs> before I was born, so cut it some slack. It will make some mistakes. It it's not perfect, and if the menus is the only thing I I have against the game, that's that's pretty good. Somehow, I felt like the lights would get turned off at the department store. I guess it's just a mouse, mouse's sixth sense. Well, Paula is still missing, though. That department sp store spook did not restore her to our... possession? So, we are left without our companion. Without our main damage dealer. So, just Net, and Ness and Jeff have to brave the elements and carry on. But, it doesn't mean that we're forgetting about Paula forever. We're still trying to find her. In fact, that's our main goal now. In fact, if we go to the cafe, we should be able to hear some useful gossip that will aid us in our journey, just like the last time. There's a loud noise outside. Must be the seventh inning stretch, and fans are singing Take Me Out the Ball Game at the stadium. We heard no such noise outside. And once again, this seems incredibly strange, but that's just because I know what to do. But if we go outside, there's an uh, assemblage at the alley. Someone has been assaulted. He's breathing. Has he just been playing too hard? Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? Yes, I will. You can have my magical ketchup packet. Are you sure? I would. I really wouldn't want to take this amazing thing from you. All right, take my place. Wheeze. Ugh. Aren't you Ness? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Ness, aren't you? It's me. We met in Tucson. Everdread from Burglin Park. You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That car painter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. <gasps> ah, strange. I stole it and thought about selling it in the big city. 
An old city wise man called it Mani Mani. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, ugh, I'm in pain. And. Monotoli tricked me and stole it from me. He, from me? He tricked a thief. He wanted me out of the way because I know his secret. He gets his evil power from the statue. Listen, I'll tell you only once. At the cafe. Check behind the counter. Ugh. I said I'd tell you I said I'd tell you only once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more. Uh uh. Do do do, you wanna hear it again? No. Before I go, this is my last haiku poem. Put that out, pal. When you're on when on your when on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa. So long. You know, it's the people who seem bad on the outside that are truly good-natured people on the inside. I'm not just saying that. That's true. Most of the people you see that look very sketchy are can be very nice people, and the people who look normal can spell your undoing. Is that man going to... to... die? I'm not sure. We'll never see him again in the game. So, it's unsure what his fate was. I personally think that he did survive. I just like to be optimistic that way. Now, Everdread said check behind the counter, and this guy, drinking his coffee, or in the Japanese version, beer, said that he once tried to find the bathroom, knocked on the wall, and someone answered to his surprise. So if we check this wall, the very same wall that he did, something will happen. Something <laughs> I cannot explain. What? Does mi- oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain how I might have talked to this man, who's right beside me. Okay, for real this time. The wall, Ness, the wall. This is not Foresight. This, no, that's not, not right. I am the host here. This is Moonside, the flip side to Foresight. How is it the flip side to Foresight? Well, the enemies are now indoors, which is something we haven't seen much of before. The Robopump. The enemies, like I said, are something we haven't seen before either. They do something very strange. Every enemy has some ability that we've never seen before, like the Robopump that will slowly count down from three. When it reaches one, it will uh, attack you with a bomb. Once again, we have not seen um, enemies use items before. So, the area is extremely strange. Also, this this background will make a cool uh, Animal Crossing background. And if we kill it before it reaches zero, then it will not attack us. But, point is, everything here is backwards. What? Foreside? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense in Moonside, which does not make sense in all. At all. See what I mean? Yes? Too, uh, too bad. Yeah, Moonside is probably a fan favorite area. It has a very unique atmosphere that's not seen anywhere in the game, and just when you think you, you're not going to see anything new, the game surprises you by having you experience a bad trick. And I would know such, I would know about such things, because I think I've mentioned it before, I had a bad experience with cold medicine that had the exact side effects as uh, narcotics. So, uh, this is pretty close to home for me. Yeah. It's a bad thing. Don't, don't do drugs, kids. They're bad for you. I know, sort of, from experience. Not really. Well, everyone you talk to has something new and unique to say. Even more new and unique than anyone you've talked to already. Do you understand all this? Surprisingly? Yes. No? You don't? To tell you the truth, neither do I. Okay, what if we say we do by saying we don't? Good. I'm glad you get it. Yeah, this area is cool. I love Moonside. It's not necessarily one of my favorite areas because it's extremely confusing, just like the people, but it's weird. It's so weird. Like, it's something you'd see out of a weird cartoon. I keep saying weird. But a wacky cartoon where someone's dreaming or like, uh... Alice in Wonderland, something like that. Welcome to Moonside. Welcome El to Soonmide. Moonwell Ot Kosum D. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And 
what makes it even stranger are the buzz cut dudes. You talk to the buzz cut dudes, they'll say hello and goodbye and warp you to a different area. This is the only way to progress in Moonside as there are invisible walls everywhere. You can't reach certain parts of the city. You have to talk to the burly surfer dudes, which also in and of itself is one of the most fantastic things I've ever seen. You have to talk to muscular men who warp you in this weird dream world of Moonside. Now, suffice to say, it's a very hard area to get through because if you if you uh, talk to the wrong burly men and forget who you talk to, you're going to be lo lost in a daze for a long time. Also, the la game is extremely laggy right now. So y you have to remember who you talk to because if you don't, you're lost in the area. There's no way to get out unless you eventually stumble into the solution. So suffice to say, I'm going to be cutting around a lot when I go through this area, but I'm going to end the episode here. I know it's going to be a fairly short episode, but I want to tackle most of Moonside in one go. And that requires me looking at a guide, cutting around, and I don't want to do it partially. I want to tackle it all in one go. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing. I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you next time for another... Pal plays Earthbound. I will go inside here because it's scary. This is a scary place. Don't look at it. It is a bad man. Also, the enemy will never respawn here, so this is a safe house. So, I'll see you guys next time in the adventures of Ness and Jeff and the teddy bear. Ness's level is now 36. I was trying to do the end slate, but it didn't work. Offense went up by 4. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 2. Vitality went up by 2. Luck went up by 1. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 25.